Hi, I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at the Dot and Do kit from Find It Trading. I'm showing this kit by request today because we've had some customers request to know how to use these Dot and Do kits by Find It Trading. And so we're just going to take a quick look through here. They're actually um, quite a lot of fun to do and they are pretty simple in terms of the number of supplies required to get them done. Let's start as usual by just taking a look at the materials in the kit and what other supplies you'll need to get it done. Okay. Each kit comes with a 3D sheet. Now these are not die cut so you're going to want a nice pair of detail scissors to cut these out, but as you can see from the images, they're not terribly complicated cutting. And I've observed that the other kits don't seem to be real complicated cutting either. This one happens to be purple flowers that we're looking at. It's just an advertising piece. Each kit comes with three cards. You get the 3D images to build three cards. You get three card bases and you get three sheets of pre-printed material to actually do your layering on. And then this varies a little from kit to kit, but generally there's four sheets of actual dot and do stickers per kit. This one happens to have lavender, gold, menta, and copper. In addition to the materials in the kit, there's not much you have to add here. You're going to want a good pair of detail scissors. I didn't happen to have my cutter bees handy. They're the ones I actually recommend, but a good pair of detail scissors in any case. This is almost a must-have supply for this. This is an extra special pair of little tweezers from Quilled Creations. They're little super super fine tweezers and these are just fabulous for working on these kits and these are very inexpensive so that's fun. In addition to that you're just going to want your tape and some pump squares. Let's take a look at some finished cards here. There's two that I have already completed. The whole idea behind Dot and Do is that we're going to take shaped stickers off our sheets and match them to the shapes on the card and then we're going to attach a 3D piece. So you end up with this beautiful foiled looking card in all these different mirror finishes. <coughs> so I've completed this one and this one and I thought we'd work together to place a few stickers on the, on the final one and assemble this one together. So, you got a good view here, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to probably get in pretty close because there are some little tiny stickers on here. So I've already filled in most of these, but I left a few so that we could work on those together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the pieces on my sticker sheet to match the images on my on my card. So let's use one of these. Now I have a couple, these go in a couple different directions. So I'm going to take this little sticker off my sticker sheet and then I'm going to match that up with the sticker on my card. I have another one here. Do that one. Now these particular pieces are nice sizes. Some of these are pretty darn small. Okay, I'm going to switch colors here. And get some of these purples. I'll put some of my little berries here. Now, you can see, I want to show you this. This is how small the stickers are become. <laughs> so there are some that are really, really small here. Now you'll notice that I actually peeled back part of my backer sheet. 
I actually peeled back my backer sheet a little bit here. And the reason for that is that these stickers are a lot easier to get off if you peel off some of the backing. You will want to look at the backer sheet when you peel it off and retrieve them. <laughs> There's one of the hazards of working on these. These little stickers can get away from you. Come on. Now once I get it down on the paper, I can use the very fine point of my tweezers to kind of position it right where I want it. And these will move a little bit to allow for that. Fortunately, they send quite a few extra stickers, more than you will actually have to have to complete the kit. Um, they tend, when you're peeling them off, to kind of flip up and off the sheet. I finished the other night and went in and was combing my hair to go to dinner and I found two stickers in my hair. <laughs> I, they're, as you can see, they're very, very, very highly detailed, some of them. Some patterns are easier than others, but I think you should anticipate that there is going to be some super fine detail work here. If you're comfortable with that and you enjoy that kind of work, you'll really like these kits. If you're not comfortable with, those, with this kind of detail work, you won't enjoy these kits at all. Brittany was here and she was working on the pause for thought while I was making the sample cards here and she watched me do it and said not a chance not even remotely interested in doing that um, she thought the stickers looked fun but she didn't want to have to cut out the images I don't mind either one I actually really kind of like fussy cutting which is what you call it when you're doing really, really fine detail cutting. But she did not think that looked like a good time. I'm going to actually do the tiniest spots here off camera because I have to get right in over them to do the littlest spots. Let's look at... See those little dots? Now, you could skip them, but I won't. I will actually locate those little dots, and I will put those tiny, tiny dots on there, but I have to get right over it to do that part. And I have, and this is just really a matter of finding the stickers that match the design. So, for example, I have these, and they've already supplied in these kits the exact sheets you'll need to do this. So you should have any stickers you need to actually complete your design in your kit. Let's see some of these stickers like these. They're fairly easy to do. We have this little wispy berry. Kind of looks like a tadpole. This tadpole here. And you can kind of slide them into place to get them right over the image. And looks like I have one more to do. I have one more copper one to do here. Are the lines color coded so you know which stickers go with? No, it? the lines are not color coded. You're matching by shape, not necessarily by color. And that's a good point because sometimes you'll actually have choices of which stickers you want to use. For example, each of the sheets has the little rounds so you can kind of decide which ones you want to put where and as you get towards the end of the kits that may be a little bit dictated for you based on how many you have left of something but we're actually really close to being done here I'm going to put on this little one here and these two and these two off camera just because they are pretty fussy and I want to be right over it when I put them on so we'll be right back. Okay, 
Okay, I finished putting the little dots on. It actually only took me a second. I just needed to get right over my work to do it. I knew I'd have my hair in the way of the camera. I did want to explain that these little flowers that I have along the ribbon, these were provided on the green sheet. And even though those weren't printed, there's just a tiny gap between the lines. And I thought it looked a little bit more finished to actually add those little green flowers along the ribbon. So. If you get your kit and you happen to get this one, we have many choices available in these, and they're all pretty. But um, if you happen to get one that has those little breaks, look for pieces that you can put in just to be creative. I could have used a little dot there or other things, but I love the way that looks. And so sparkly. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble the card. They give us the cardstock it's not pre-scored but it is um, it's fairly lightweight card and it's easy to score ourselves fold with score so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this crease it with my nail I'm gonna put my easy tear tape on the back and then we'll just assemble this card and we'll take another final look at the three finished cards from this kit these are made by Dot and Do. They're sometimes um, labeled in the store as Hobby Dots. That's a division of Find It Trading. And well, we have lots of lots of fun kits available. These are selling like hotcakes on Amazon, but I haven't really featured them in the store until recently. So, whoops, I just peeled up my easy tear. Come on. There we go. I was talking about how easy it is to peel my easy tear. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to position this so that I have a nice border all the way around it. Bryce asked me when we were off camera if we had, if these little dots stay put once you put them in place. And they're somewhat movable when you first lay them down before you kind of rub them in. And then the adhesive really sticks over time. So yes, they, they pretty much stay put. This one I just put on when we were off camera there. So it's just not rubbed down good yet. There we go. Okay. And... Here's my little bird that I've assembled. I've just cut out my pieces, layered them from the largest to the smallest, used some foam squares between my layers, and now I'm just going to put a couple little pieces of tape here. I could, if I chose to, put these down with foam squares if I wanted more dimension. Love my easy tear tape. It's also in the store. It's actually called finger lift tape. Okay, and I'm going to position my heart where I want it, which I think is right about there. And our card is finished. There's our finished card. Let's take one more look at our other two designs from this kit. Again, this one's called Purple Flowers, but we have many, many wonderful card kits available, and they're all beautiful. Each of them is beautiful in its own way. So this has been the Find It Trading Dot and Do Kit from Find It Trading. And I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts. We'll see you next time.